two words came to mind. Commitment and devotion. <clears throat> A devotion to truth, a commitment to strip away all that is false. A commitment to to clean up <laughs> to clean up the with a noisy mind. A commitment to truth. instead of a commitment to the conditioned mind. Instead of a commitment to the impatient conditioned mind, As long as we will, as long as we stay committed to the impatient mind, or should I say, as long as we stay committed to the conditioned mind, impatience will be our companion. Unfortunately, we live in a world that offers almost instantaneous stimulation. So most people never really get the chance to experience the impatience that is the driving force. The impatience that we so desperately try to avoid. But if you are watching my videos, you will be confronted with impatience because not much is going on here. You see, I'm not trying to fool you. Although the conditioned mind, it wants to be fooled. It craves to be fooled. But I will not fool you. What I do here has nothing to do with being popular. <laughs> what I do here <clears throat> will never be popular in the traditional sense because 
There is not much happening here. And the reason for that is that I know that in order to wake up to reality, we have to slow down. A commitment to slowing down. A devotion to slowing down. And I will... I will lose a lot of viewers. <laughs> and... And already there has been... A lot who has abandoned this video who has been unable to commit so far. You see, when the tempo goes down and not much, and not much is happening, then you expose yourself to the restless mind. And this restless mind, it has the control over you. You have no free will. When completely identified with the conditioned mind, there are no free will. The conditioned mind is running the game. So the question about free will, as long as there is identification with the conditioned mind, there are no free will and there cannot be any free will. Because the conditioned mind is or should I say if the conditioned mind does not get stimulated it will create all these different emotions like restlessness and anxiety also. But if we have a desire to wake up, then we need to slow down. To start experiencing again what we have become puppets and in a sad sense those who most need this message is those who are abandoning abandoning it uh, quickest. <laughs> Those who most need it, they cannot stand it. They cannot stand these long periods of silence. In those periods of silence they get confronted with emotional turmoil. 
But that's just how it is. But you, you who stays, you are in the process of awakening because you are no longer running. I will be doing some very powerful videos where I will unpack the different kinds of identity and it will lead us towards a Hmm. What shall I call it? A meditation or a guidance into the the cosmic consciousness, Buddha nature or Christ consciousness. And the impatient mind would say, Give it to me now. I want it now. <laughs> but see, if I did, you wouldn't gain anything from it. You would consume it as you consume everything else. So it is a gradual unfolding, a dismantling, an unpacking of our true nature, our true essence. I think it might become a four-part four series, but we'll just have to wait and see. So if you are interested in love, truth, Knowing about what existence is, then stay tuned. Until we see, until we meet again, take care.